Hi, my name is Mike Collinson, and today I'd like to show you how to uh, make and install a hydraulic ram pump. Uh, a year ago, I knew nothing about this whatsoever, <laughs> um, but um, I've got a, uh, a decent amount of land, uh, which I've used part of for a garden, and I've got a stream that's uh, maybe about 30 foot beneath the level of my, uh, my ground. So I, what I wanted to do was to pump the water from the stream up to the garden. And uh, this hydraulic ram pump uh, will actually pump it up uh, using just the power of the water alone. So if you don't know about this, um, I think this is it's a fantastic thing to do and well beyond the well in the means of, of anybody with a bit of practical common sense uh, to do. So uh, so here goes. I hope you get some uh, enjoyment out of this and uh, I hope that um, maybe this is useful to somebody. The first thing you really need to do is to uh, survey uh, the, your, your own situation. Uh, basically you need a, at least um, a three foot drop in the fall of the stream that you have. Uh, this could actually uh, be a pond at a higher level. It doesn't have to be moving water. It, it all depends on the on the gravity, i.e. The, the, the actual fall between the point where you're taking the water from and the position that you put the pump in. So you need at least three feet of water to make this um, fall of water to make this work properly. Uh, the more fall you have, the higher that you're going to be able to pump it. Um, I reckon that um, when I initially looked at mine, I, I didn't actually measure it. Being on my own, it's a bit difficult to um, to measure it myself to get the levels. Uh, but I estimated around about five feet drop, and um, I'm hoping to pump it up to about. I'm guessing around about 35 feet in in height. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do now is to is to really show you. Um, um, the way to go about this. Here we have a photo of uh, the parts I used to build the pump. Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory I think by looking at it. Uh, I should try and give a list of all these parts at the end of this um, this video. Uh, the tank you can see there is a, a standard expansion tank uh, used in central heating systems and all these items uh, should be available from, from most plumbers versions. Um, okay. Here is the pump now assembled. Uh, it's important to note the two brass swing check valves. Uh, the first one pointing upwards has to have the arrow pointing down, and the second one has to have the arrow pointing in towards the expansion tank. Um, if they're put in the wrong way, this, this, the pump will not work at all. The first thing I needed to do was to uh, install the um, drive pipe. Uh, I started off with a, I've used uh, an old vegetable plastic container uh, as a filter uh, and the dry pipe goes from there down through a stream across and over a couple of waterfalls. Uh, all in all, it's, it's around about um, 120 feet in length, slightly more than it should be actually. I have the pump installed in the stream and uh, it's busy uh, pumping about once every couple of seconds and you can see the outlet, uh, the hose pipe running up uh, to the bottom, uh, up through to the bottom edge of the trees which you'll we'll see in the next uh, photo which is at the bottom of our field. Um, going up from above the tree line, uh, this is my field um, and the hose pipe is now in here at the top. And at the moment it's coming out into, um, just into a bucket, um, about 11 litres an hour. Um, I need to get more than this, but it's, it's a steady stream at the moment, so I'm um, very happy with this at the first attempt. Although I'm obviously very happy that I've got the water up to this height, I really need uh, to raise this about another 10 feet. Um, I've built a, a stand in preparation for this at the very top of the garden. Uh, where I'm going to put a uh, thousand litre water tank uh, and then I should be able to supply my gravity to the rest of the garden from this. However, this is going to take a, a little bit more thought in the length of the drive pipe, perhaps an expansion tank. Uh, all this will be in the next video. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. As promised, here is a list of the uh, items I used to construct the pump. Uh, there's just one small mistake. Um, I forgot to put down 
two inch napoleon unions there's only one on shown on the list but you will need two i have to get this afterwards uh, uh, i hope this is uh, useful uh, see you in the next video goodbye